Twitter's mindset 467 in the chat below. Let's go. 467 in the chat below. What's going on, Marketer's Mindset? How we doing, everybody? What's going on, Marketer's Mindset? 467 in the chat below. If this is the first time ever that you've been on a Marketer's Mindset live webinar, drop in a 36 in the chat below. I want to know if this is a first time for you. Let's go guys, light the chat up, light the chat up. 36, 467. What's going on? Stuart, Gavin, John, Irving, Mike, Henry, Adam, Tin. What's up everybody? Keep it coming, keep it coming. Guys, very quickly while we wait a minute or two to let people join in, I wanna do a quick little poll. On the count of three, I want you to drop in the chat where in the world you are from. I will say your name and where you are from. One, two, three, go. <laughs> we got Stuart from Dallas, Brian, Virginia. Mike is from PA, Moise is from Pakistan, Josh from Austin, George from Greece, Gavin from the UK, Chris from Fort Lauderdale, Adam from Toronto, Crystal from Salt Lake City, Hannah from Chicago, Irving from New Jersey, Tim from Croatia, Ryan from Houston, Philip from Seattle, Chris from Virginia, Javon from Tab Louisiana, Andrew from Albuquerque, Penny from SoFlo in the house, Volcan from Australia, and we got Humble Texas, Lily from Orlando, Godfrey, India, Arizona, SF Bay Area, Southampton, Mexico, whoo, Spain, Orange County, California, Saudi. What's up, everybody? Man, I missed you guys. We got a bunch of people in Facebook. What's going on? People in Facebook from Concord, from the Philippines, from South California, Brooklyn. What's up, everybody? How we doing, guys? Hey, I want to make sure. I know last time we did this round of webinar, it was a little bit during the corona. It got a little bit crazy. Can you guys hear me and see me good if you're in Zoom? Drop a 300 in the chat for your boy really quick. 300 in the chat. I want to make sure we're firing off on all cylinders. All right, amazing, amazing, amazing. There's a, a lot of you guys on here and I'm super excited. Um, today, guys, I wanna show you guys and talk to you guys about the 10 agency commandments to building a six-figure agency within six months. Within six months. And all you'll need is a computer. Now, if you guys are cool with that, can we get a 450 in the chat? If you guys are cool with me showing you 10 things that you can change in your business today, that'll put you well on your way to six figures. 450 in the chats, baby. You guys got me sweating over here and it's cold inside. Cool, the engagement is up. Everybody's all excited. Everybody's hyped up. We got Marketer's Mindset live. I love it. All right, guys, let's call this go out. Let's do GoPro real quick. Show everybody what's going on in the studio. Guys, we are actually back to reality uh, here at the Dashflix headquarters. Um, a couple of us are now working back in the office. We're going to be able to do our regular Marketer's Mindset schedule just like this. For those of you guys, as Carl says, go with me on this one. For those of you guys, this is your first time here, we're going to do a little intro on how everything works, okay? And then we're going to get started. So for those of you guys, the, we are actually in the Dash Click Studios. You are watching me right now from up top in the GoPro. Then we have front facing right here. We have the front view camera, which you'll see me directly up here. Then we have to the left of me, we have the side view camera, which you'll see me right here. And then we also have, as you can see on this camera, we have the monitor where every time you guys do a quick chat, let's do a quick test. 300 in the chat really quick. 300 in the chat. You guys will actually see live movement and your chat's coming in right here. So everything that you guys are saying, I can see right here, not only on Zoom, 
But if we leave this open, I also have Facebook open as well. So guys, I can see you from anywhere that you're talking from. So please, number one, the most important thing about these Marketers Mindset webinars is be engaging. Be engaging because what it does, it hypes me up, it gets everybody else hyped up, and when everybody's hyped up, we all learn from each other. Okay, first thing, rule number one of the Marketers Mindset Live webinars. Rule number two, if you're on Facebook, hit the like button, hit the love button, hashtag live. Get the momentum going because that builds engagement on the post and then more people are gonna be able to jump in, okay? And lastly but not least, we do have our P&P controls where I'll be right down here on the bottom right side of your screen and you'll be able to see exactly what's happening here live. Now on this webinar, we'll go front face real quick. I'm gonna be going through transitionary elements here. I'm gonna start with going through um, a slide deck. Okay, now today, once again, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the 10 agency commandments in building a six-figure agency within six months and all you need is a computer, okay? That is the webinar topic for today, which means I'm literally going to go through 10 things that you can do and change in your agency today, okay? Today, yes, after this webinar, you can implement all of this stuff in your agency, whether you're just starting out or if you already have an agency that has a million clients, okay? You are in the right place if you're in either of those categories, which means any agency owner, you're here and you're in the right spot, okay? Now, while I go through these 10 slides, I'm gonna whip open the whiteboard and I'm gonna start showing you guys some insider stuff. Some stuff that I've experienced literally in the past 10, and now almost 11 years, 11 years in September, in September, it's gonna be 11 years of me owning a digital marketing agency. Dash clicks, just to give you some quick stats, is almost 20,000 users in almost every single country in the world. Now, that is not amazing in just almost a year and a half of being open. Can you drop a 20 in the chat for me? Almost 20,000 users from people all over the world. And for you guys that are live on this webinar and in Zoom, you can literally see everybody coming in from all these different countries. It's actually amazing that all of us agency owners are coming together, okay? Another quick status update is we are now almost up to 50 employees in Dash Clicks, which is pretty amazing. And our team is growing every single month. On average, we've been hiring about two to three, sometimes four people every single month. So we are growing fast, we are growing strong, and we're gonna be here to support you guys in any way that we can, not only with knowledge on these free webinars, but in our platform, in our white label fulfillment services, and in everything else we can indoctrinate you guys with to make sure that you are successful and you fucking kill it in your agency. Can you show me a little love? Let me get a three in the chat. We're about to get started here. Awesome. All right, beautiful. So let's get started, let's go PMP real quick. So guys, the 10 agency commandments to building a six figure agency with its six months and all you need is a computer, okay? We are going to get started. Number one, okay? Now for those of you guys who are on a computer on your phone, I highly, highly, highly recommend screenshotting every single one of these slides as we go through them. Feel free to screenshot as I start going through whiteboards as well, okay? Because between every slide, I'm gonna whip open the whiteboard or I'm gonna talk to you about some storytelling about stuff that happened in my agency, what to do and what not to do, okay? Um, and I'll, uh, obviously before we even start with slide number one, to make sure that you guys understand that I am qualified to speak about this, we've sold way over probably $15 million in digital marketing services over the last couple of years, probably even more than that, I've already lost count and we've had hundreds of employees on staff. We've had thousands of clients. So the things that I'm sharing with you here are not only for you as a newbie and as a beginner to come in, but it's definitely also for you guys who are at the point where you have one, two, five, 10, 40, 50, 1,000 clients that you guys are managing. These are literally all the golden nuggets that I've learned in the last almost 11 years of being in this business and literally living it, breathing it, Okay, spending millions of dollars in expenses on running our business and our operation. So you guys are gonna get this on a silver platter for you. And if that's cool with you, say yes, Chad, in the chat. Say yes, Chad, in the chat, show me the goods. Gavin said yes, Chad. 
I'll change my name to Chad. Yes, Chad in the chat. Let's do it. Somebody say, let's do it. Love it. All right, guys. Agency commandment number one. Thou shall not try to get clients fast and cheap. Okay? This results in fast and cheap clients that will not stick around for additional months of services. Okay? What I mean by this is for those of you guys right now who are prospecting and are trying to do one call closes and are trying to shove products and services down your clients throats without doing a proper demo setting expectations or things like that this is going to result in literally people coming in and out of your business it's going to result in you having the worst clientele in the world okay and I promise you this because this is what I did in the first five years of my agency, okay? I would always focus on the bottom of the barrel, okay? And no disrespect to any new business owners whatsoever. We, tell, we help tons of new business owners, okay? But what I mean by this, guys, is if you are going after the bottom of the barrel, which is essentially brand new businesses that are just hitting the face of this earth, the problem that you're gonna have with that is one, yeah, maybe you can close them fast because they don't have a website yet. They're not doing any marketing, right? They're looking for somebody for help, right? But the problem is because they're not an established business, the issue that's gonna happen with a new business is usually most new businesses will actually fail, unfortunately. It's, a stati it's statistically shown most new businesses fail within the first couple of months or the first year, whatever it is. I forgot what the actual number is, right? And you're gonna do all this hard work to go out, get that client, sign them up for a really cheap and fast service, what happens in that time, okay? Now, we have to equate time to money. So us as agency owners, right, are, what, we're, what are we actually selling? We're not selling physical products. I'm not selling you this beautiful leather jacket or this awesome marketer's mindset t-shirt, which you can get by purchasing on our website, okay? What I'm actually selling is a service. I am literally trading you my time for monetary value, which is money, right? So when I trade you that time for money, that has to be worth it, right? Now, most agencies will have a flat hourly rate. Some will charge 129 bucks an hour, 199 an hour, 399 an hour, it really depends on your level of skill, right? It's kind of like, we're almost like attorneys in a way, right? Where we charge, we bill by the hour a lot of the times, right? And when you look at now the services that you're offering as an agency owner, the way that we dissect our services is we actually go backwards. We list out, we take the service, okay? Let's whip open the whiteboard here. Let's go PMP real quick. Uh, get out of this. Cool. So what we'll do, and to give you a little gold here, this is the way, this is the way that we actually calculate costs for us as an agency, okay? And this can be used across anything that you're doing. Okay, whether you're doing fulfillment, you're not doing fulfillment, it doesn't matter, whatever it is, okay? So, if you think about an invoice, all right? Well, when you send somebody an invoice, let's say you're sending somebody an invoice for SEO, for your SEO basic plan, okay? And you are charging, I don't know, 800 bucks a month, okay? Now, most agencies, what they'll do is they'll focus on this, this number right here and this line item. That's not actually what we do as an agency. What we do is we focus on all of the tasks that have to get done inside of this specific package, right? So task number one, two, three, four, five, six. There could be literally 150 tasks that we do in the SEO basic package. And then what we do is we say, well, okay, this task takes 20 minutes. This task takes 60 minutes. This is a three minute task, this is a five minute task, this is a 17 minute task, this is an 18 minute task, right? And we do this, okay? And no, this is not miles, I'll just drop it in here for those of you guys who are like, Chad, are you talking about miles after? Nope. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll equate our costs. Okay, well, now if I do this specific task and it costs me 20 minutes to do, I need some, I need some mathematician help. Okay, if I have a task and I have an employee and that employee makes $20 an hour and he's doing a 20 minute task, how much is that task gonna cost the company? Go ahead, hit me guys. If I have a one hour employee 
Okay, if I have a $20 an hour employee and that employee has to do a 20 minute task, how much is that going to cost the company? Somebody said five bucks. Come on, guys. It's, it, it's technically 33.33% of $20, which technically should be like, what is that? I don't know, like eight bucks, maybe seven bucks, some shit like that, right? I don't know, right? Because there's obviously, there's, what is it, Carlos, $6.6? Thank you. Shit, I thought I was bad. You guys are horrible. Everybody, how the hell are you guys getting different numbers? Come on, people, wake up! <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Okay, let's just say that that's what it is, whether I'm right or wrong, but I know Carlos is really smart and he's smarter than me, so it's probably right. Okay, and let's just say this task is $20, right? And let's just say this task, just for the sake of time, I'm just gonna say this is two bucks. Okay, awesome, this is three bucks. Uh, this is gonna cost me six dollars, and this is gonna cost me, whatever, five bucks. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll tally up this whole shit. And let's just say this whole thing costs us, I don't know, 500 bucks. I'm just giving you guys an example. Obviously, it's not that, okay? So let's just say the whole thing costs us 500 bucks, which means literally my spread on this and my margins, right, would be 300 bucks, which means my margin percentage on this specific product of $800 is probably around, I don't know, like 35%, right? Percent is here, not here, right? Something around there. I'm not gonna go into the exact numbers, okay? So what I'm saying is, as an agency owner, we're selling our service for time, but what most people actually miss out on is time calculation, okay? Now guys, for some of you guys who are selling video services, for some of you guys who are selling reputation management, for some of you guys who are selling whatever it is the hell that you're selling. Now if you're dealing with dash clicks, the cool part is you don't need to worry about this. We literally say, hey, this is what we're gonna charge. We're gonna charge you 349 bucks for the SEO basic package, and you can charge whatever the hell you want. Now on average, you should be charging double which means you should be charging about 700 bucks, okay? Which means your margins will literally be 50%. You don't have to deal with the hiring, you don't have to deal with the firing, you don't have to deal with the training, you don't have to deal with literally anything at all. Now that's obviously the beauty of using Dashflix, but what I want you guys to understand is how to actually create an invoice, but don't look at the main number, look at literally the specific line items and what you're selling. Now you're probably like, Chad, this had nothing to do with the first commandment. Okay, let's go back to the first commandment really quick and let's see if it actually did. Okay, so commandment number one was thou shall not try to get clients fast and cheap. It results in fast and cheap clients that will not stick around for additional months of service. Okay, so what I'm trying to explain to you guys here, most clients and most new businesses and most accounts, I always like to backpedal, I'm super analytical. I like to think about the avatar of the type of client. Now that type of client to me is a new business, is somebody that has a very little, uh, very little um, budget for marketing, right? And if somebody has all the time in the world. Those three things mixed together are the worst combination you can get for a client, literally. Those three things mixed together are a demon, okay? And I'll tell you why. You're gonna have somebody that's gonna come in and pay you you might get excited and you might get excited and you might get somebody to pay, pay you, let's say, 300 bucks a month. You're like, holy cow, Chad, I just closed a $300 a month client. I'm rolling in deep, right? But what you don't realize, what most agency owners don't realize, and this is where they, they fall in, into the, the demon, the demon wheel, not the, like better than a hamster wheel, I'll call it the demon wheel, okay? Is if you actually put the line item and you break down everything, that $300 that you're charging might be costing you 200 bucks. But then what you don't calculate is not all the things that it takes you to do the task, but because he's a newbie, you're gonna have to add extra time into every single one of these because he's gonna be on your ass, wanting to know exactly what's going on. The phone calls are gonna be hours upon hours a week. He's gonna ask you to do so many extra tasks that are not related to the things that are inside of your specific contract, right? He's gonna ask you now to start creating zap ears and you obviously wanna keep the client, right? So you're gonna do the services. This is not what you do, okay? That's why you should look for businesses that are a little bit more mature, businesses that have a little bit more of a budget that have been in business for a certain amount of years that they understand the marketing dollars, how marketing works, the benefits of having a website and running a Facebook ads campaign and doing all this stuff. 
Guys, does anybody agree with this? Can you drop a 17 in the chat if you guys are understanding what I'm saying? Quick 17 in the chat. Yeah. Okay, great. Let's keep moving. That's awesome. I'm glad you guys are on the same page, okay? So once again, thou shall not, thou shall not, damn it, you guys got me excited, now I skip to the next one, okay? You ruined the whole surprise. Thou shall not try to get clients fast and cheap. Screenshot, okay? We're gonna go to the next slide. Okay, great. Thou shall not have only one prospecting method. You should be fishing using both personal touches, which is things like calls, walk-ins, etc., and automations, which is like email blasts, DMs, and you gotta do that all at the same time, okay? Let's do a quick poll. How many people in their business are lazy, like I was for the first couple years of my business, and only wanted to do shit that was automated? Drop an A in the chat. Drop a letter A in the chat. Drop a letter A in the chat if you're as lazy as I was. And come on, don't lie, people, because I'll come in here and I'll catch you. I'll catch you on your automations. How many people? Bunch of A's. All you lazy people that are like Chad at the beginning of his career, right? Yeah, so what you should be focusing on is what, this is kind of really what set things to the next level. When you combine, when you can combine the personal touches, okay, with the automations, all right, so let's say this is personal, personal touches. And then you do automations, okay? When you can combine these two, that's where the magic starts happening. This is where really the magic starts happening. And I'm gonna talk about some of those things. And I want your guys' help. Let's make this interactive. What are some prospecting methods that involve personal touches? Drop them in the chat real quick. What are some prospecting methods that involve personal touches? Go ahead and drop them in the chat. All right, somebody said calls. Calls. Cool, what's the next one? In person, so we'll call that a walk-in. Now, are you guys literally just copying everything that I just said on the previous slide? Or are we gonna get gangster here? And you guys are really gonna help me out. What else? Emails, um, depending on the type of emails, because you can automate emails, right? Can't, can't really automate a phone call too much. Can't really automate a walk-in. You gotta really like, physically walk in there. Somebody said webinars. That's a good one. Because this would be awkward if you guys came in here and like it was a robot of me. All right, that would get super awkward, right? Grabbing coffee and catching up, right? So like meetings. Meetings, right? What else we got? Loom videos, social media groups, social media groups, right? So let's just say Facebook groups. Going in there and providing value. Awesome. What else we got? Guys, you guys are killing it. Look at this. Together we are a team. Somebody said texting. Texting is good, but you don't want to randomize text people, make it a little weird. Um, all right, let's, let's keep going. Somebody said networking events. I'm actually gonna throw that down here. Actually, let's just say events in general. Cool. All right, guys, talk to me about some automations. What are some of the things that are automated? Can we go PMP real quick, Carlos? Automation. Hit me with some automation. All right, somebody said email. Email is definitely automation. All right, somebody said before SMS, you can definitely do SMS automations. Um, paid ads, yeah, technically that's kind of automated, right? You're not doing that every single day, multiple times a day. Um, somebody said bots, so we'll call that messenger bots, right? What else we got, people? Um, let's keep scrolling up. Let's Keep going, guys. What else we got? Sweepstakes, not so much. Um, VAs, that's not automated, that's a human being. <laughs> Even though VAs can help us out a lot, that's still a human touch, right? What else we got, guys? What else is automated? Retargeting, somebody said, that's pretty much paid ads, right? All right, let's leave it at that, okay? I can also talk about some other things, which is like DMs, 
right? Which is like LinkedIn DM automation, Instagram DM automation, right? Doing things, somebody said videos. So maybe shooting some videos and letting them sizzle on YouTube and having that automated touch in the back end. There's a lot of really cool stuff that we can do, right? Now the beauty of this is if you synergize and do both of these, that's where the magic happens. Most people, most people, what they'll do is one of these things. They'll like only do phone calls as an example. And then what they'll do is they'll focus their whole agency around phone calls and literally that's all that they do. Nothing else, right? When in reality, if you can just do this one time, because these, these really, the, like think about it, email automation. Well, I can easily set up an email automation campaign with follow-up sequences and everything else and I can literally have that whole thing automated and maybe spend like five to 10 minutes a day on it. And that's something that a VA can handle, right? SMS messages, I can automate that whole campaign and fire off SMS messages and have um, autoresponders going out and follow-up sequences and all that stuff via SMS. Paid ads, I literally create the whole campaign, fire it off, and I just change my audiences, maybe change my ads every couple weeks, right? Automation. Um, bots, having messenger bots uh, with follow-up sequences and automations and autoresponders and all that cool stuff, that's automated. DMs, having a, a LinkedIn DM, there's tons of softwares out there that do that. Uh, same thing with Instagram DMs, videos, posting videos, maybe take once a week, an hour, post a video, right? Let it sizzle on YouTube. But these are obviously the heart, these are, these are the ones that bring in a lot of revenue quick also too. So the personal touches, walk-ins, calls, webinars, meetings, Facebook group events. So in your agency, if you can figure out a way to synergize, to literally do both of these things at the same damn time, you're good to go. And most of you guys are probably like, well, Chad, this is awkward because this looks like a tit. And in reality, it might. But that's just the way that the drawing came out. So it is what it is. Guys, 400 in the chat. If this makes a little bit of sense to you. Okay, cool. We're going to keep going. This is just the beginning, people. Get ready. Just the beginning. Let's keep rolling. For those of you guys who are the first time on here, I hope you like my comedic strategies. Um, Okay, let's keep going. Thou shall not use Excel as their CRM system. Always make sure to have a calendar booking system, which is like Calendly, Schedule One, or any other one that you want to use, and an actual CRM system, like Pipe Drive or something like that. Organization is king, especially in the prospecting phase, okay? Especially in the prospecting phase. How many of you guys out there right now are using a CRM system? Drop CRM in the chat. How many of you guys are using a CRM system to manage? Drop CRM in the chat. Come on guys, help me out here. Remember the number one rule of being on a marketer's mindset webinar, you got to engage. If you're not engaging, well shit, that gets awkward. Okay, CRM in the chat. I see how many guys are on here. There's a lot of you guys, okay, good. CRM, CRM, CRM. Okay, so here's what happens in the real life world. Now there's two types of people, okay? There is person number one, okay? And there is person number two. Okay, I'll use half the screen here and I'll use half the screen here. All right, so this is person number one. Awesome, and this is person number two. And we'll just make this person look like Carlos and we'll make this person look like Chad or whatever. Okay, let's just say that that was it. All right, <laughs> Carlos GoPro. Just GoPro and give him a wave. GoPro and give him a wave for the... There we go. Now tell me those two drawings don't look like us. Be honest. Do they not? Say yes or no in the chat. Come on, people. Where's the beer? It's the beer. Oh, sorry. There we go. They do, right? Totally. Okay, good. Let's keep going. All right, so let's just say this is Bob. We'll not use names here. And this is Bobby. And you're probably like, well, Chad, what's up with you and Bobby? I don't know. I just like Bobby's. Okay? Bobby's a cool name. All right. And this guy right here, well, he, he's prospecting like one to two clients a day. And he's like doing this like really old-fashioned. He's got like his Excel sheet, right? And he's all excited, right? And he's got like the name and the phone number and the email address. And he's got like everything populated in here. Right, and he's got a couple clients a week, right? And, uh, and that's cute and that's cool, but here's the problem with that. Once you start prospecting like a boss, that shit will never work. Will never work, 
Okay. What you need is an actual CRM system. Okay. What you need is a CRM system so that you can literally have all of your leads in one place, super organized, okay? And when you click on a specific lead, when I click on the specific lead, I can have a place to put notes. I can have a place to schedule calls. I can do automations. I can do a lot of really cool stuff. Let's talk about automations really quick, okay? Well, this is the type of automations that we used to have, okay? Who wants to see some walkthroughs of some quick automations? Because I know you guys are lazy like me and you like automations. Just say automations in the chat. And I'll show you some cool stuff, some cool ideas. I just actually thought of a really cool one today, too, that me and Carlos were speaking about. I'll share it with you, too, because I really like you guys. Okay? So, automation number one. You got a guy. He's prospecting. Then he's going and he's scheduling an appointment. We now have an appointment. Okay? Let's call it an app so I don't have to type this shit out. He schedules an appointment for, I don't know, Let's just say June 23rd, 2020 at 4.15 p.m. EST. Cool. Appointment is now scheduled. Phenomenal. Now, I do this in Calendly, okay, because I like to use Calendly. Calend, right? Lind, Calendly. I thought I was spelling that wrong. Okay, Calendly. Right? Then I got my Calendly, I got my booked appointment. What we'll do is we'll actually set up a Zapier. Okay, to put that straight in our CRM system. And you guys are like, well, Chad, like, come on, we all do that. That's some easy shit, right? Well, actually, we, we go a little bit further than that. Okay. We'll put in our CRM system, which this is called Pipe Drive. That's what we use for right now, at least. Pipe drive, right? We got our pipe drive system. Um, and, um, and then what we'll do is we'll create a brand new deal. Okay, we'll create a deal. And we'll create a contact. And we'll also create a biz. We can just create all three of them. Okay. But most of the time, to be frank with you guys, we just create deals because that's really what we focus on, right? And we'll create an actual deal, and that deal will have all of the information that was on the actual Calendly form. All right, so this whole form that was asking information, it gets passed over and it gets sucked into the CRM system, okay? And what we do on Calendly is on Calendly, we have automations. So we have reminders, one, two, three. So we have a reminder that goes out 24 hours in advance. This is hours, okay? Then we have a reminder that goes out at one hour in advance, whatever hour. Uh, and then we have another reminder that goes out five minutes in advance before this meeting actually happens. Okay, because we all know that show up rates really suck sometimes when you're scheduling appointments. People don't show up, right? This is cute. Some of you guys might already be doing this. Well, we decided today to take this shit to another level. Okay, so here's another thing that you can do. Say, Chad. Show me. Just say show me in the chat and I'll show you another really cool way that you can spike up people to actually show up on your calls. Say Chad, show me. If you don't say Chad, show me, I'm just going to move to the next slide. Okay? I got to have a little bit of engagement here, people. Let's get real. Show me. Okay, cool. So, same thing. Okay, I'm not going to redraw this whole shit out, but we have Calendly. App. Okay. So what we do is, well, we have a call at 4.45 p.m., right? And whatever, this is on 6.21.20. Okay, cool. There's our phone call. That's our booked appointment. Now, shit, on top of the three emails that we have, or three, the three notifications we have. So, by the way, those notifications go one hour. Um, one hour, it was... Yeah, 24 hours, one hour, and five minutes before the call. We send an email and a text message. Cool, you can do that in Calendly. You don't need really any crazy zaps or anything like that, right? But we also zap that person into pipe drive. Then what we'll do is 10 minutes, okay? And this is something new that we're creating. 10 minutes, and we looked at the zap here today, me and Carlos, and we kind of cracked the code on it. 10 minutes before this actual call. So at 3.35, or no, damn it. 
445, or 435. I'm losing my mind here. At 435 p.m., okay, I want to zap to trigger, right? It's 10 minutes before the call. It's a little zap is going to trigger. And that is going to send a voice drop, voice drop to the person. Now, you guys can use Sly Broadcast. Broadcast, Sly Broadcast, okay? Um, or you can use, um, uh, I think it's a Cowboy Drop or some shit like that. What was it called? Drop Cowboy. Drop Cowboy, something like that. Just type that into Google and you'll find it. Drop Cowboy, okay? You can use any of these. And what we do is we pre-recorded a voicemail on here, an audio file, and you can do something like this. We'll do a little role play, okay? Say, hey, what's going on? It's uh, Chad from Social Agency. I'm super pumped up for our call. I know it's in about 10 minutes. Um, anyways, um, just make sure when you jump on the call uh, to check your email, there'll be a Zoom link in the actual uh, calendar confirmation uh, that we booked together a couple of days ago. Once again, this is in regards to your website that we built you the free website, talking about that whole strategy of what we're gonna do there. Anyway, super pumped up to speak to you. Um, I'll be on that Zoom call in 10 minutes. Speak soon. They get a little personal touch from daddy, okay? They get a little personal touch from daddy 10 minutes before the call and the whole thing is automated, okay? So now they're getting the email, the text message, then they get the personal voice drop, okay? Starts bringing up these show up rates. Starts bringing up these show up rates. Who likes that? Say like in the chat. Say like in the chat. You guys like that? Something a little cool for you? Something different, right? A little bit outside of the box? All right, cool. Those are some cool things that you can do. Now guys, make sure if you're doing this, you have a CRM and a uh, calendar booking system, okay? Let's go to the next one. Are we on the next one? Yep, cool. Let's go to the next one here. All right, well. Well, well, well. All right, there we go. Thou shall not only reach out to one prospect at a time. All right, that shall not reach out to a prospect one time. Sorry, guys, the voice is killing me. I'm trying here. I'm trying. Guys, follow-up is the key to success. You should have seven follow-ups before giving up on a potential lead. Now, I see tons of agencies fail, and here's how I see them do it. Let's talk about the failure really quick. Okay? They spend all this money and time, okay? And when we look at leads, we calculate leads based on a monetary value. We're like, okay, well, how much does it cost us to get this lead, right? And it makes sense, right? It makes sense. Where it's like, okay, well, this lead costs us $25 to get. It costs us 25 bucks to get a brand new lead. And we have a lead in here, and this guy's all happy, okay? And this lead is now booked on my CRM system, okay? Plus, he's scheduled in Calendly, Calend, whatever, Calendly, okay? And it cost me 25 bucks to get this lead from here to here, okay? From becoming a regular person on the street to now in my CRM system magically scheduled with an appointment. Now, what most agencies do is they will go and they will show up to the Zoom call if that's what you're doing, or uh, you might be showing up and it might be like a phone call, right? That's cool too. Okay, either a Zoom call or a phone call usually is pretty standard, right? And they don't show up and they're scratching their hand. They're like, dude, like, this guy didn't show up to the call. He's probably not interested. And then they'll just go on to the next lead that they paid $25 for and literally start burning money, okay? So here's the rule of thumb that we do in our agencies, okay? If a lead does not answer the phone or did not show up to the Zoom call, we have seven touch points, okay? And those touch points can be multiple different things. They can be a phone call, they can be an email, okay? They can be an SMS message. Shit, you can even send them a voice drop if you really want. 
a lot of the things you can do automated, right? So another cool thing that you can do with, with automation is if you're using like pipe drive or literally like any other CRM system, if you're looking at the deals column in a CRM, there's things called stages. And when you move a deal from one stage to another stage, well then you can set up an automation based on that. And if I move this deal over from this specific stage to then this specific stage, I can say, hey, do me a favor, uh, go ahead and fire off an email, mess an email, and then 10 minutes later, fire off an, uh, an SMS, and then 15 minutes later, um, send out a voice drop. And that's literally three touch points in one shot. And all that's doing is saying, hey, uh, I showed up to our appointment today, but you didn't show up. Hope everything is well. I'm looking forward to really speaking to you about your business. Um, I'll try back tomorrow. But for some reason, if, if you're ready to talk now, um, here's my direct number and here's my email address. Feel free to reach out to me. We can schedule another time to jump on a call. Automations, right? So those are the things we need to think about. You guys good with that? Drop a number four in the chat. If that's sexy to you. Little quick little automations. Awesome. Cool. Let's keep going. All righty. All right, so we did this. Screenshot time. Thou shall not use the same old consultation strategy. Dude, come on. Make sure to bring all the value you can in your prospect outreach, okay? As it will make the sales process 10 times easier and skyrocket your conversions. Chad, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by consultations? Obviously, I gotta consult with the guy. I'm a consultant, right? That's my job. I'm a consultant. I'm an agency. I consult with people. I help them get more business and more leads, right? Well, yeah, you are. By the way, side note, guys. Side note, guys. Hold your questions. I'm gonna do a full-blown Q&A at the end on anything. You can talk to me about automations, how to make sales, how to use Insights, how to increase revenue, how to hire people. Talk to me about, ask me any questions you want. I will dedicate time at the end of this. This will probably take probably about another 15 minutes and we're gonna do full-blown Q&A, okay? I'm gonna hook you guys up. All right, so what was the last slide? Damn it, I forgot my thought here. Carlos, you're supposed to help me. No, I don't wanna cancel out the application. Make sure that you bring all the value up front. Okay, yeah, I remember now. Okay, cool. Okay. All right, guys, so very important, something that you wanna do. I see everybody, all these agencies, and God help you, for, especially for those of you guys that are doing this in ads and shit like that. You really need to rethink about your marketing strategy. But I see these ads on Facebook, and it's like, hey, my name is Bobby from Bobby's Marketing Agency. Do you want a consultation for your business where I can help generate you leads and get you more success? Well, ha, well, just book a call below. That's my phone number right there, and you can just book a call by yourself using this link right here below and go through our whole process because you don't know me and book a call and put in all your information and answer my 14,000 line form um, and then we'll just jump on a call and we'll do a consultation. Isn't that awesome? It's like, dude, what the fuck? Did, like, what are you doing, right? Take a pause, okay? Shut off the ads. Think about this shit really quick, okay? That shit does not work anymore. We're not in the 1940s where, 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 where fucking consultations were invented, okay? And this is like a new thing. Stop doing that shit, okay? If I hear the word consultation come out of your mouth, if you hear the word consultation out of your mouth, come out of your mouth, I want you to do this for me. I want you to take your right hand and smack yourself in the face and never say it again, okay? Do not say the word consultation. It is banned from history, okay? You need to use better tactics. You need to use things that are different. Things that actually move the needle. Things that provide value. Things that are like, holy shit, this guy is totally different from the last 400 people that called me today, right? Those are the things that you need to do. And that's why we offer so many different approaches, so many different tools that we have that you guys can literally learn. Let's talk about one really quick as an example, Instasites, right? You heard me talk about it for like a year now, right? Very, very simple, okay? You call somebody, okay? You do a phone call with Bobby. Got Bobby, Bobby's on the phone. You call Bobby, okay, and I will literally do this call with you. Okay, and you're like, hey Bobby, how's it going? This is Chad, calling from Chad's office. Uh, I just wanna let you know that I went out and built a full-blown website for your business. 
Um, and I want to see if I can send it to you by email and by text message. Um, I really want you to see it. Our team worked really hard on it. It's totally free. Just want to fire that off to you. Um, what's a good email and phone number where I can send that to right now? Now, did you hear me say anything about consultations? Did you hear me talk about how we were going to consult and get more leads and drive more revenue to the business and to all this shit that everybody else talks about that's the same old shit? No. I went in with an offer with total value. I said, hey, I did something for you, Bobby. I'm scratching your back. Time to scratch mine now. Let's jump on a quick call in 20 minutes. You think that might be a good time? Right? I'm providing value up front. And those are the things that are like Insta sites. That's why we build these tools. Insta sites is an example, right? So Insta sites, sites, cool. Insta sites. Then you have things like Insta reports, okay? Where once again, it's a full blown report builder. It's talking about like your grades and all this really cool stuff and like a little report card for your business. And that's Insta reports. Insta reports, okay, cool. You guys get the name, Insta reports. Okay, now think about what you can do with Insta reports. Hey, Bobby, how's it going? My name's Chad, I'm calling from Chad's agency. Um, Bo uh, Bobby, um, I don't mean to put any pressure on you, Bobby, but um, I went ahead and, and took the time and went up, just ran a full-blown business audit on your business, and I'm seeing a lot of things that are wrong with your business. You got directories with the wrong phone number, um, the wrong your old address from your old business is showing up. Your website looks like it's failing. You're probably not converting much. There's so many things that are wrong with your business. I have this report. I just want to show you the report. What's a good email and phone number to send that to? Okay. These are things of value. These are things that are different. Instead of saying, hey, good afternoon, Bobby, how you doing? Uh, can I speak to the marketing manager? Oh, hey, marketing manager, um, would you be interested in increasing your lead? Of course they're fucking interested in increasing their leads. Every business is. Please don't ask questions like that during a prospecting call, guys. Okay? And I hopefully, I know I'm being a little out about this, but I want to make sure that you guys understand the difference between you which is you are trying to excel your agency and move the needle and everybody else is doing the same shit. Okay, that stuff does not work anymore, guys. I promise you. I tried to do that at the beginning of my career and didn't make any money. And then I switched to stuff like this and I made millions. So I'm telling you this from experience. I really want you guys to better yourself and grow your agency, okay? Now, if you guys are cool, can you drop a five in the chat if you guys are in agreement with me to not do this ever again and make sure you're only doing new stuff? Okay, five in the chat really quick. Let's take a quick 30 second, see what's going on here. Quick five in the chat, guys. Five in the chat, five in the chat, five in the chat. Quick, quick five in the chat, five in, all right, good. Let's keep going. Let's rocking and rolling, baby. We're rocking and rolling here, baby. All right, awesome. Let's keep going. I'm gonna get through this a little bit quicker for you guys. Thou shall not try to sell everything at once. Have three core offers. Start with your middle tier offer, then either downsell or upsell based on the conversation. Most of you guys are like, Chad, what do you mean? In my QuickBooks account and in all the proposals that I have, I already have 1,700 services that I offer my clients. I do it all. I'm a one-stop shop, right? Well, God help you because I can tell you right now, you're gonna fall flat on your face. That's the shit that I used to do. That shit doesn't work, okay? So what you need to do, guys, is you need to have three offers. Really, really simple, okay? And I went through this with somebody in one of our programs the other day who might be on the call, okay? And this is how simple it looks. Two, three, okay? You have three different programs, okay? You got one program that's super cheap. Let's just say it's 199. And you got another program. That's $6.99. Now you guys don't have to use these price points. You can use whatever price points that you want. Then you have another price point that's $14.99. Okay? You have your small, better, best. Small, better, best. Okay? Small, better, best. One, two, three. You start initially with this. This can be your core offer. Okay? Now I'm going to walk you guys through this. We're going to do a little... A little role playing here. You got the end of your call, your consultation call, right? You got the end of your consultation call, and uh, you're like, well, hey, um, you know, based on our conversation, this is gonna be the perfect plan for you. This is exactly what you need. It's got A, B, C, and D, 
Okay, and make sure, by the way, side note, when you're tearing stuff out, and I'll draw this right down here, make sure that your plans go like this with the amount of features that they get. Hey, in this plan, you get this amount of features, right? One, two, three, right? Does that make sense? Hey, in this small plan, you, you only get like, like these three features, but in this plan, you get these six features, and in this plan, you get these nine features, right? So it's, it's essentially a value ladder, if you think about it like that, in a way, right? So here you're coming in and you're offering your middle tier package because that's the goal. The goal is to sell the middle tier package. The goal is never always, it's not always to sell the higher tier package. It's always to sell the middle tier. Only a very limited amount of people will ever actually get into your higher paid package. Okay, most people, and I know this statistically speaking, will actually jump into the middle tier package. They're always, they always want to be in the middle. They don't want to spend too, too less, they don't want to spend too much, they just want to be average. Okay, they just want to be average. They want to be accepted, okay? So they're gonna jump in, you're gonna say, hey Bobby, bang, here's the, the um, proposal, or here's what I'm offering you, it's 699 bucks. It includes one, two, three, four, five, six. This is what it includes. Now based on that conversation, Here's what's going to happen, okay? He's either going to say, perfect, sign me up. You send him over the contract, dotted line, okay? Or he's going to say, you know what? I actually can't afford that. That's not a good fit for me. Now, where most agencies fail, they don't have this and they don't have this. So there's nowhere for them to go up or down. Now they have to sit there for the next 30 minutes and try to convince this guy who can't afford this package why this package is the best fit for him. Does that make sense, guys? It's not something that you want to do, okay? So what we'll do is we'll start with this package, and if it's not a good fit, we shift. Hey, that's not a problem, Bobby. Why don't we do this? Let's get you started in the smaller package, and then once we get kind of things going and we're on the grind and we, you see that our services are good, and you start making a little bit of money, then we can talk about moving up. But you got a way to go down. Or sometimes, very unlikely, but this does happen sometimes, the guy's like, hey, do you have any packages where we can just get more and move a little bit faster? <laughs> Right, I'm going here. We're going 15 hundo on this one, All right? So hopefully this makes sense to you guys. Guys, did that make sense? Drop a three in the chat. Three in the chat if that made sense. Three, 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 three. If you're sitting here watching and you're not dropping a comment, like what the hell, dude? Come on, I'm sitting here trying to help you. Help, help a brother out. Drop a number in the chat. Drop a three in the chat. Don't be that lazy, okay? If you're that lazy, where you're not engaging and dropping numbers in the chat, then how the hell are you gonna succeed in business, okay? You gotta engage, man, come on. Here we go, let's keep going. Next one. Thou shall not only sell monthly arrangements. Always try to push for a contract, okay? Long term, for long term revenue growth, have three tiers for this as well, three, six, or 12 months, and always start with a six month and then downsell or upsell based on the conversation. Now guys, if that makes sense, that's literally what we just spoke about here. And it's the same concept and the same strategy. Some people don't want to be in a long term contract. Some people don't want to be in the short term because maybe this one, you get a better deal if you come in here than you come in the longer one, right? And you get a better deal again, you get a discount for joining us on the higher tier plan. Okay, so what I'm saying is make sure that you have three different offers for contracts so you can always go up and down. You always, 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 always in business want to have the ability to go up or down. Okay, guys, we're going to keep moving. Let's keep going because that's pretty self-explanatory. I don't need to draw a whole thing out for that. All right. Thou shall not set misleading expectations before the sale. Setting high expectations only results in high turnover and churn. Set the most realistic, realistic expectations so you can exceed them instead of fall below. Okay, this is some shit that everyone should screenshot and print it out and blow it up and post it on your wall and put Chad's picture on it, okay, so you can remember. And the reason why I say this, okay, is because a lot of agencies, this is the number one killer. It's expectations. Expectations will literally kill your agency, okay? And the reason why I say this, guys, is because you guys are out there selling services, and you're like, oh, well, we can get you those leads. Yeah, it's gonna be 36 cents a lead. And they get a lead for $1.75, and I'm like, chill, whoa. But you said this was 34 cents when we originally spoke. I'm not happy. 
I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to Bobby down the street. And this is like four days after they signed up for your services, right? Setting proper expectations up front before, before the sale will actually, and it statistically has shown, because we have done this for 11 years and we set proper expectations before the sale. And if that's the person that you set proper expectation with is not one, you, you build rapport so heavy because you both are on the same page. And two, when you over deliver, if you're like, hey, we're gonna get you leads, but it's gonna be 30 bucks a lead most likely for the first month or two. And then after that, the lead cost is gonna drop because we're gonna be optimizing your campaign. Don't be that guy that's like, oh, hell yeah, we're gonna get you leads. And they're gonna be like 30 cents a lead right when we start. And the campaign is gonna start tonight after you sign the contract. I'm gonna turn the campaign on. I don't have to build it, it's already built. I'm just gonna turn the campaign on. Right? These are like some of the things that I hear people say. It's like the dumbest shit in the world, right? So set proper expectations because what will happen is you'll keep that client and retain them longer. They will understand your process better. Another big thing that you want to do is not only with expectations, talk about what happens next. Has anybody bought any fulfillment services from Dashclose? Can you drop a four in the chat? Drop a four in the chat for me really quick if you've ever used any fulfillment services from Dashclose. Fulfillment, so like Facebook ads, Google ads, SEO, content, um, listings, fulfillment, not really like Insta sites and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. A lot of you guys, which is great. Thank you for that, by the way. Um, and how many of you guys got a little video for me that popped out and said, this is what happens next. Drop a five in the chat. If you've ever seen that video, what happens next after I place my order, right? Did any of you guys ever see that? Drop a five in the chat. Yeah, it's literally me setting expectations with you, telling you exactly what's going to happen in the next 24 hours after you literally just paid us. I'm setting the expectations. Let me tell you guys a little quick thing. That video is slightly new. It's probably about six months old. When we first started Dash Clicks, we didn't have that video. And we had so many issues with people who didn't understand the process. Now what we do is not only do we tell them the process up front, but we remind them again the process after they purchase with a video that shows them step by step. Hey, you're going to be receiving your Slack channel, okay, within 24 hours and someone will be in touch with you. Okay? You're going to be able to do this inside of your account. Make sure to white label your dashboard. Make sure to go here and set up your custom domain. Make sure to do this. Make sure to do that. Once all these check marks are off, you're all set on the race. You're good to go. Right? It is actually setting up expectations properly. And that's the reason why a lot of you guys are still with us hopefully today is because we help you. Right? We're working with you versus working against you. Let's keep going. Thou shall not only sell one new client per month sell in bulk. It's the only way to really grow your business to cover your expenses and make a large enough margin. You can't survive off of one new client every couple of weeks. The reason why I say this is most agency owners are going to go out and they want to build this big team, this big agency. They want to have this really successful agency. And in fact, I'm telling you from experience, because I have two that we built, we have social agency and dash clicks, right? So this was impossible for me to do the first three years of business. This is what I was doing. I would get a client and that's like, I would stop everything. No prospecting, no sales, everything's off, right? I am literally, I'm literally fully focused on this one client right now. And then a couple weeks go by, he's all set up. Awesome. I turn back on my prospecting. I start doing sales. Three weeks later, I close another deal. I got another client in the pipeline. Maybe that last client's still on. Maybe he's off. I don't know. We'll see what happens, right? But these are the type of things that happen. So what you need to focus on is separation. Okay, and I'm just gonna draw this out so you guys can see this as a visual picture. Okay, I want you guys to focus on how you separate your business and the priorities that you need to do. Okay, priority number one, and especially for you newbies, you gotta write this down. Okay, priority number one is prospecting. Prospecting, okay. Priority number two, sales. Priority number three, fulfillment. Priority number four, service, servicing your customers. One, and this, is, this pretty much makes perfect sense if you actually go backwards on this. Well, you can't service your clients if you're not fulfilling any orders, right? 
You can't fulfill any orders if you don't have any sales. And you can't sell any clients if you don't have any prospects. You see what happens here? It's literally a chain link effect. Okay? In order to get any of this, you have to have prospecting. Okay? In order to make any sales, you have to have prospecting. Okay? You have to have your calendar filled up. And you make sales. In order to fulfill any orders, you have to actually sell and close deals to be able to fulfill those orders. And in order to service any of your clients, you actually have to do the fulfillment and start servicing them on a monthly basis. Okay? So, guys, very important. That's the priority that you guys should focus on, especially if you don't have any customers right now. Focus on number one. All right, let's keep going. Did I miss one? Damn, I probably deleted number 10, didn't I? Okay, well, we'll continue. I'll give you guys 10 after in the Q&As. Guys, quick question here. Drop a number 10 in the chat if these 10 agency commandments was helpful to you. Quick poll, really quick. And guys, stay tight because we're going to be doing some badass Q&A. Okay? 10, drop a 10 in the chat. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Guys, I got a really quick question for you, and I want everybody to be honest here. And I, I really need your feedback here. And I want everybody to be totally honest. Can we go front-facing real quick? Just for one second. Okay, this is going to be a question that I'm going to ask you, and it's going to touch the heart a little bit. Okay, and the reason why I'm going front-facing is because I need to physically connect with you. Okay, because I'm going to ask you a question here in a second, and it's going to get a little uncomfortable for you. And there's also a lot of people in this chat. Okay, but I'm going to ask it because I really want to ask it to help your business. Okay, can we go PMP real quick? Drop a 100 in the chat below if you have not hit $100,000 in annual revenue with your agency and would like to at the same time. So if you have not hit $100,000 a year, Guys, you can see the side screen here. Like, you guys are going off the hook. A lot of you guys. Wow. Okay, let's go PMP real quick. First of all, can we go actually front face? I'm sorry. First of all, thank you for being honest. Okay? Because if you're not honest with yourself, number one, you'll always, you'll always fail. Always fail. Okay? Lying to yourself, you'll always fail. Um, being out in an experience like this where there's hundreds of people live, hundreds of agency owners, and to share that level of personal information with everybody literally separates you from everybody else, okay? Because you're being open and honest, and that's the first sign of success, okay? So one, thank you for being open and honest, okay? Let's go p and real quick. All right. I want you guys, as I'm showing these results of some crazy stuff, I want you guys to drop in a 200 in the chat if you would like to get weekly results like this, okay? So $1,097 sale, okay, listings, $2,144 sale, $198 a month, $99 activation fee and then $40, $45 a month. Not a huge sale, but it's my first client and a first official client. Congratulations to that person. Okay? $497, money in the bank. And I'm showing you guys this because these are real Stripe payments from real people that are in Dash Clicks that sent us their feedback. Okay? Um, and this stuff happens every single day. Obviously, I'm not going to sit here and throw out a thousand of these, but let's keep going through a couple more. Okay? $1,970, okay? $2,998 a month contract going out three month minimum. Well, that's 9K right there if they stay for all three months. $594 monthly. These are all, by the way, guys, a majority of these are all monthly payments. So what you're seeing these numbers here, this is a month per month. Right? A lot of these are six month contracts, 12 month contracts. So sometimes you can even multiply that by six or 12 or whatever the case may be. Okay? By the way, guys, keep drawing a 200. Keep dropping a 200 in the chat. Okay? We're going to keep going. If you'd like to see results like this for your agency. Okay? $1,100. Money in the bank. Sold uh, Instasite yesterday. $500 plus $50 a month. 
$1,997. Management and listings, $597. Okay. Love this alarm clock, $997. $3,000, $1,500, good start of the week. On a three month trial, charging for a trial, $1,000 a month and $2,000 in ad spend. Month four, we're scaling to over 10K in ad spend. $248, money in the bank, baby. $2,750, sold an Insta site to a dentist. This guy sold a website to a dentist, 2,500 bucks. Okay, just did a deal for six months at $698 SEO basic. Came from Facebook ad I spent $15 on, yay. 4K a month. Guys, if you guys dropped a 100 or 200 in the chat, okay, and I'm speaking open and honest with you, I would really like you to consider joining our flagship mentorship program, Dash Elite. You might have heard of it, okay? Now, guys, we're accepting new applications for Dash Elite enrollment. We're only allowing in 10 new members to join until the next open date. So we only bring a specific few people on at a time, okay? And then we'll close the doors for a while. Now guys, remember this is a personal coaching and mentorship program, so time is everything, okay? And guys, hold your thoughts because we're gonna jump into Q&A here in literally a minute, one minute, okay? Now, a couple of things to note, guys, before you apply to Dash Elite, if you're thinking about applying, is Dash Elite literally shaves years off of the trial and error phases and puts you on a straight path to success. Only, guys, only if you're willing to fight for it. If you're willing to fight for it like those other guys, those guys were all in Dash Elite, okay? All those screenshots. If you're willing to fight for it like those guys, then you'll succeed. If you're willing to sit on your ass and not do shit, then don't even apply. We don't want to speak to you. We don't want you in the program. I'm being honest with you, okay? Number two, this is an investment to help you build and scale a real business plus enhance your mindset. This is not a get rich quick program. If you're looking for an overnight success, do not apply to this program. Dash Elite is for serious entrepreneurs who want to get out of the daily grind and start making a massive impact in your life and everyone that surrounds you. Dash Elite includes personalized high-level coaching and guidance, plus access to all of the premium versions of our software courses and our entire Dash Elite tribe with this, all those people that you saw screenshots, they're all in the Slack channel, okay? So you're going to be in a group with winners. Dash Elite is the only platform on the planet that offers an entire ecosystem which includes personalized, personalized coaching, courses, softwares, and an entire white label fulfillment team while being crafted specifically to agency owners, which is you who's watching this right now, okay? We offer multiple payment arrangements to fit every person, so don't let an investment stop you from just applying and speaking to our team, okay? Now, guys, you can go to join-elite.com. Right there is the domain name. Join-elite.com. Schedule a call with our team. You'll schedule a quick Calendly call. Can we go PMP real quick? Join-elite.com. Okay. For those of you guys that are lazy, Carlos will write that in the chat for you. www.join-elite.com. Okay. And what I want you guys to focus on, and Carlos, can you put me on the top right? Is it possible? Okay, regardless, join elite.com okay? So what I want you guys to focus on is if this is something that's a good fit for you, apply. It's not gonna cost you any money to apply. Hear what the program has to offer, okay? Our coaches are gonna jump on a call with you and see if it's a good fit. If it is a good fit, only then we will make you an offer. Only at the point when we make you an offer is when we will actually see if you're a good fit for the program and let you into the doors. Okay, we're only gonna be allowing 10 new people to join this program. Okay, there's people in the program that have literally, we had somebody in the program the other day that literally did, um, I think it was 14, a $14,000 sale off of in, an Insta site sell. So they sold Insta sites for 500 bucks and then a week later did a 14K sale contract. 
okay? We've had another person in there that was with a solar client, I think it was like a $15,000 sale, right? For like, I think it was like two or three months of service, right? So we're, there's so many different types of people in this program. What I want you guys to focus on is if you want to grow your agency, if you want to get out of the nine to five that you currently might be in, if you want to get your existing agency on the right path because maybe you're just not getting enough clients or you're not moving as fast as you'd like to be in that needle for some reason is not shifting for you, Dash Elite is a perfect program for you because it's the ecosystem, guys. It's the software, it's the education, it's my personal coaching, okay, which is me. So if you like this, like this, it's 10x everything in, in Dash Elite, okay? And it's full time, all every single day. Imagine being in here all day, right? So if jumping on here once a month motivates you, then joining Dash Elite will literally just throw you on a jetpack, okay? So let's go PMP really quick. So guys, once again, www.join-elite.com, fill out your application, speak to somebody, see if it's a good program for you. Don't let an investment hold you back because that investment can be made back very quickly. Okay, so don't be in that thought process. Just fill out the application and jump on a call with our team. All right, um, <clears throat> let's go front face real quick. Let's do Q&A. Do me a favor, guys, start dropping in questions. Go ahead and drop in any questions that you have, any questions at all that you have, okay? Any questions that you, go by, that you have? I'm gonna check Facebook too. So guys, if you guys are on Facebook, go ahead and drop any questions that you have. What software do you use for contracts? Paul asked. Uh, we use DocuSign. What other questions we got, guys? Fire away. I'm here to help you guys. This is your time. Uh, what was a voice drop software called? There's two of them. One is called uh, uh, Drop Cowboy, I think it is, and the other one is called Sly Broadcast, S-L-Y space broadcast. Best way to start making money, Keenan asked. Join Dash Elite. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Join Dash Elite. Um, but definitely if you're just starting out and you want some easy quick cash flow coming in, the InstaSites method is the best way to go. Start selling InstaSites. What is the reason you created Dash Elite, Lisa asked. I created Dash Elite for multiple reasons. One, personal reasons, I think. Um, for me, I was stuck in the whole agency hamster wheel for years. Um, probably, I would say, even though I was making a couple hundred grand a year, after like five, six, seven years, I was still in a hamster wheel because I had a massive expense on the other side, right? And the expenses really come from trial and error and tribulation, trying to like figure out what works, what doesn't work. Okay, got something that works. Let's put a little bit more money in this, but I'm still trying like 10 other things here and this isn't working and I'm, I'm burning money here, but I got this, so it's all like averaging out. So like the first couple of years for me were really hectic and I feel like I've been in this game so long that it's almost like second nature to me. And that's the first thing, okay? Second thing is me being able to help somebody and to see screenshots like that, it actually lights me up, okay? It helps me grow in my business because I know that other people are using the tactics, the softwares, the trainings and everything and, and they're implementing that in their business and it's actually getting them to close $14,000 deals, $3,000 deals, $500 deals, even if you're a newbie, like the newbie that posted one $250 first sale ever for his agency. You know how exciting those things are? I remember my first sale in my agency. It was the most exciting thing ever for me. Okay, it literally popped everything and that was like my start. It was like, wow, I can actually do this. There's, there's a real business here. People will actually pay me for marketing services. It's crazy, right? So hopefully that answers your question. Um, let's keep going. Um, what is the 10th commandment? Um, to be honest, I, I forgot, but what I'll do is I'll, if you're on Facebook, first of all, if you're not in our Facebook group, Marketer's Mindset, I think I might have deleted the slide out by accident because I did have 10 up there before and then we're testing. So I probably fucked something up there. But regardless of what it is, I'll get it to you guys. Join the, the Marketer's Mindset by Dashflix Facebook group. I'll leave it in the comment and I'll say, hey, this was the 10th commandment. And I'll leave it there. If you're not there, just it's totally free. Go to Facebook, type in Marketer's Mindset by Dashflix in the search bar. You'll see the, me like doing this weird thing 
with a banner. Just click that, we'll let you in right away, and uh, I'll drop that in there a little bit later today. Um, Keenan said, you use ClickFunnels. Uh, we do use ClickFunnels for some of the funnels that we build out. Yeah, 100%, ClickFunnels is awesome. Uh, Armin said, how much are Insta Sites and Insta Reports only? Uh, you can get Insta Sites and Insta Reports for basic, basic plans of 97 bucks. And then they go up all the way up to 297 depending on your scale and their volume and stuff like that, what you want to do with it. John, where can we learn the best way to sell Insta Sites without joining Dash Elite? Um, we have a couple other trainings that you can go to. You can go to education.dashclicks.com, find some trainings there, or you can log into your dashboard and go that route, click education, and find that there. Um, once again, doing that's great. You'll watch some trainings and courses, but that, to, to compare that to Dash Elite, two complete different worlds. Um, Dash Elite is me personally working with these. So like I said, if you like these types of environments where you can physically ask me a question, like imagine if you had me in your pocket and you can just DM me and be like, yo, Chad, I'm stuck. What do I do? And I actually respond back to you, right? That's the level of Dash Elite, right? So you have my brain of all of everything that I went through the last 11 years, all the softwares that I built, the almost 50 employees that we have, like all of the everything, that knowledge, you literally have everything. So you can say, Chad, should I go this way A or should I go this way B? What's better? And I will literally tell you based off of experience, which is the most important thing, okay? Um, Darren asks, how do you trigger the automation when you switch from one, from one stage to another in Pipedrive? That's Zapier. So in Zapier, you can use, you can do um, uh, Pipedrive um, automation where when a stage switches, it does whatever automation you want it to do, okay? So you can do like pipe drive to, I don't know, Twilio, if you want to send an email or an SMS. Pipe drive to slide broadcast, things like that in Zapier. Lisa, what made the difference in slow scale challenges faced? Um, and when it really finally broke through, when it, when it finally broke through the scale, right? Um, I think the biggest mover for me was when I started selling in bulk. Um, I think for me, and as most of you guys who are maybe small agency owners who are trying to gather up your first couple of clients, that's great and that, that's cool. But the thing is, is, once you start building a team and you start moving into an office, can we go hit the GoPro real quick? I mean, guys, we have a massive office. For those of you guys who are at Dash Day that came out here, we have a big office, okay? Tons of computers, every single person in our office, aside from this computer right here, which is a custom built PC to do broadcasting, every single other computer that we have in the office are all 27 inch iMacs with two screens. Like we work to the fullest, okay? Um, having all of those expenses started boiling up and I was like, dude, how do I, how can I do this but like at a massive scale? How can I go from 100K to 500K, how can I go from 500K to a million dollars? How can I go to a million dollars, two million dollars a year, right? Once you start hitting those numbers, um, there's a biggie song, this is more money, more problems, right? Uh, the more problems, more money, whatever, some shit like that. More money, more problems, I think is what it is, right? And uh, it's totally true. Uh, the more money that you make, the more problems that you need to solve. I was speaking to one of our teammates earlier today, um, and we're just cracking jokes in the Slack channel, our private Slack DM. Um, and he sent me a message, I forgot what it was, and then he sent me back um, a message saying, hey, I thought you were, um, uh, I thought you were nervous about the issue. The, some, it was, the, whatever, it was a specific conversation, but he said, I thought you were nervous um, about the issues. And I literally responded back, I said, issues don't make me nervous um, because they always get solved, right? So issues will always get solved. It's only a matter of how long it takes to solve that specific issue. Once again, I'm a super analytical person. So that issue might take a day to solve, it might take an hour to solve, it might take three years to solve. And for me, I've been in this for 11 years and I've crushed almost, you, can, you can't even imagine the type of issues that I've been through in business-wise, entrepreneurship, in the last 11 years, which has got me to the point of where I am today to be able to understand and give analytical thought process to every single thing that comes my way and quickly kill issues as they come in so you can move as fast as possible because what happens is issues are the type of things that actually slow your business down. Those are the types of things that actually put your business as a halt. As you can see in your general life, or even in regular life, when an issue hits you in the face, what do you do? Stop. You're like, oh shit, let me take a step back. How do I fix this? This is an issue that we have here. And that's literally what you say. Well, this is an issue that we have here. And you stop and you start thinking. And that issue might take time, right? And those are the things that delay. And what happens in business and in entrepreneurship is issues actually are normal things. 
and they happen every single day no matter what business you're in no matter the scale of your business and truthfully the bigger your business gets the more issues you actually have because there's more people that are making more issues right more sales that are turning into bigger issues and bigger problems and as you grow your business those things get bigger so the issues don't they're not like oh we had a client that canceled our $99 a month contract. What do we do? No, we have like we have like 100 people a month churning out. What do we do? How do we fix this, this problem, right? And then we go in and we go to the drawing board, right? And we fix this whole problem. So the reason why I'm giving, like this is like super in-depth, next level talk that I'm having with you guys because I really want you to understand the way that I think because if you're investing in Dash Elite, you're investing, yeah, you're, you're investing in the softwares, um, you're investing in the tribe, you're investing in all of the courses and education, but I think the most, the most important thing is you're investing in me. And um, for me to be able to work with you guys one-on-one -on -one and guide you to the levels of where I've been and only just continuously getting higher and higher, um, for me in business, we've actually grown every single year, year over year. There was never one year in the 11 years that we were open that we went down, if that makes any sense to you guys. So there's always been year over year growth which my mindset, the way that it triggers, it's always like, okay, well, this was cute. We made a million dollars this year. How do we make two million? What do we got to do to get there? And then we set goals and we start crushing issues and we start optimizing and getting better and moving forward, right? So these are the things that you need to think about as a business owner if you want to succeed, okay? You can't just think about, how do I sell this guy and get, you know, sign him up for a thousand bucks a month, thousand dollar a month contract, okay? It's totally different when you start getting clients and there's levels to this shit. And I'm saying that because there literally is levels and I've been through a majority of the levels and the level that I'm trying to get to now is more like enterprise level. And for me to finally be at that after 11 years and getting a little emotional uh, is actually legitimately intense because it's something that I personally been dreaming about for the last 11 years of my life and to have it take 11 years to finally get to the point where we're like thriving and our company is growing so fast um, is phenomenal. And I, for one, I want to thank you guys that are watching because you guys are you guys are the main reason why it's happening, why we're able to go. So thank you guys for everything that you do. Um, so hopefully that gives you a little bit of a better answer for that. Um, let's keep going. OK. What do you think is the best way to get your foot in the door with PI attorneys, Insta sites, or Insta reports? Um, or should I split test it to a different sets of front closers? Chad, you rock. I would split test. Um, we've done both. We've been successful with both. That's why we built both tools. Um, um, my favorite personally is always Insta sites. It's just my method. I love going in with that because the value ladder approach and doing that is, is so much easier. Easy. Easier. Um, it's so much easier. So um, I guess if that was my vote, I would say that. But still, both are awesome. They both work great. Lisa, holy shit, yes it is. Um, what role does strategy play in your agency success? How valuable is it? Um, there are tons of strategies out there, which is a problem on its own. Focus and expertise. This is the golden, uh, this is valuable. Thank you so much. So uh, the question was, what role does strategy play in an agency? Um, and how valuable is that? Everything. Um, because strategy is based and implemented in everything in your business. It's not, most people, when they think about the word strategy, they're like, okay, well, strategy, that's what's our marketing strategy. What's our go-to marketing play? Um, there's strategies for everything. There are strategies for how are we going to do our onboarding process? How are we going to sell? What are we going to say when we sell? What are the things that we're going to give away when we sell? What's the strategy to make these offers? What's the strategy for this Facebook campaign? What's the strategy for when somebody fills out a form? What happens next? What's that strategy, right? So strategy, process, protocol, those things are literally everything for your business, right? They're everything. So. This is the type of stuff that I want you guys to think about, okay? This is next level thinking. This is next level type of entrepreneurship, okay? And if you guys want to get there, you can literally apply here. You can actually get to me, okay? Because I don't, I'm not in the live chat. I don't speak to customers. Um, I'm very rarely, I can't answer to every single person in Dash Clicks. It's literally impossible. There's almost 20,000 people in Dash Clicks. It's not possible for one person to answer them. That's why we have such a large team. But for those very few people that want that next level of personalization, that want that next level of success, that are ready to fight for it, that are ready to grow their agency, okay? 
those are the things that we offer in, but only in Dash Elite, and you get a piece of me. And that's joindashelite.com. Um, Keenan said price. There's so many different options available, Keenan. Um, in fact, we, we, you'll actually jump on this call, and we won't speak to you about price until the very end. And that's if you're qualified to, to jump into the program because we do not let everybody in. Even people who want to pay, we turn them down because they're just not a good fit for the program. And we're looking to build a community. That's the biggest thing for us, right? So best thing to do is jump on a call, see if you're a good fit, apply. Um, you can probably speak to somebody literally today or tomorrow. We have tons of open people um, from our coaching program that are available to jump on a call with you guys. Just go to join-elite.com. Hit the little orange button that says apply now. You'll be able to literally go in and submit your application. It takes 30 seconds. We ask you just a couple questions and you submit your application and book a call on the calendar literally at the same time, right? Um, Dash Elite addresses each of these levels. Yes, yeah, 100%, 100%. Um, what are the requirements for the program? Um, we kind of went over them before, uh, Ruba. Um, it's literally making sure that you're in it to win it and you're in it to fight for it and that you have a good mindset coming into the program and that you're ready to succeed and you're ready to give it your all and you're ready to transition over into a full-blown business and not just a freelancer because that's really not what we're looking for for this program. Um, we're looking for people who are ready to take it to the next level, right? Um, obviously, you're a big fan of live webinars, um, but what do you think about funnels using Facebook ads for registrations for automated webinars um, when they can book a call after automated webinars to help with prospecting? Yeah, Facebook ads are cool. Uh, only thing with Facebook ads, lead costs are a little bit higher. I actually had a conversation with somebody in Dash Elite yesterday, and uh, his two things was, hey, what should I do? I got 5K that I want to spend. Should I go and build uh, and use the call center approach, or should I go and run Facebook ads? And we literally sat, we broke down the pricing, and we figured out how to split test both for half the price and make that decision on base what he likes better, right? But we gave him and we set proper expectations. I said, hey, you can probably generate leads on Facebook campaigns if you're doing a, uh, like a giveaway, an e-doc or PDF or some shit like that, and you're giving that away and you're submitting, having a form submission and then you're doing a phone call right after, or you're setting up automations, right? Uh, but definitely with a phone call to make sure you get that guy in a calendar, you can get leads for like five or 10 bucks. Um, but if you're having somebody go and indoctrinate themselves and go through that whole Facebook process and go through your entire funnel and then book a call, that can get to like 75 or $100 a call, right? So those things can get expensive really, really quick. So those are the kind of things that you want to keep in mind, Dan. Um, let me switch over to Facebook real quick. Um, guys, what else we got? Hit me up, hit me up. What's up, Porsche? What's up, Nikos? My boy, Nikos. I love you, bro. Um, Osvaldo sold the first three sites in the first week. Then I signed up. Osvaldo. Love it, brother. Congratulations, man. That's awesome. Um, we'll be able to build sites from scratch. Um, big things are coming soon. What software do you use for contracts? We went through that. That was DocuSign. Um, what other questions you guys got with me? I want to hang around for like five or ten more minutes. I'm going to answer some more questions for you guys. I really want to um, make sure that I provide value, and that's what I like to do in every single webinar. By the way, for those of you guys who are coming in last minute, um, if you want to work with me directly in a high-level coaching program, offers all of our courses, like full-blown access, open the door to Narnia, take it all. There's no holding back. Um, you can literally go here, submit your application, um, join-elite.com. Um, we'll jump on a quick call with you. Our team will see if you're a good fit to work directly with me and the Dash Elite team. If you are, we'll make you an offer to join the program. We have many different payment arrangements available. Do not let payments or investments or anything like that deter you away from applying if you're a serious candidate. Move forward with the application. We'll see if you're a good fit. And at the end, we'll make you an offer. We'll talk about all different pricing arrangements if it's a good fit. Okay, let's go back PMP. Guys, what other questions we got? This is your time. There's still a shit ton of you on here. Ask your questions, guys. I'm here to help you guys. What's one thing that you're stuck with? Drop it in the chat. What's the number one thing that you're stuck with? Poll, drop it in the chat. Let's hit side screen. Poll. What's the number one thing that you're stuck with? Drop it in the chat. If you would start out as an agency, which niches would you consider? 
That's a great question. Um, uh, we did start out as an agency, uh, so I'll just talk to you from literal experience. Um, we started off um, not. We started off doing a jack of all trades. We were doing all niches, and then we niched down a lot into home services: um, painters, plumbers, roofers, contractors, garage door repair, carpet cleaning, um, locksmith. Um, any anybody that involves in anything home repair. Um, or home maintenance things, pool pool guys, things like that. Um, that was that was our specialty, and we saw the best success in that because those guys didn't have storefronts. They weren't like a restaurant or a clothing store where you can just walk in and buy shit. The only way for you to actually share your share your company out into the open was to do marketing and advertising if you were in the home services world, right? So that was a really good one for us. David, documents and processing onboarding proposals, that kind of thing. Um, uh, documents and onboarding processes, now we've had fully automated in DashClick, so we don't even worry about that anymore. Proposals, you can use like DocuSign, PandaDocs, things like that, that'll help you out. Um, can you offer fulfillment services for Greek clients if I provide content and translate ad copies? No, unfortunately, we cannot, only English, um, because our guys cannot uh, do maintenance on a campaign if they can't understand what the hell the campaign says. Sorry, brother, I really you know, just hope that makes sense. New agency, how does Dash Elite help me um, get going on the right path without diversion. Is it too advanced? If not, what are the key benefits for me as a new agency? Um, if you're coming into this world, so here's the whole thing, okay? As an agency owner, the, the longer you're in as an agency owner, can we go front face real quick? Um, the longer you're in as an agency owner, the more years, it's, it's kind of like anything, the more experience you have at something, the more wiser you get at it, right? You're able to solve bigger problems and make more money, right? But if you're coming in as a brand new agency and you know nothing, Dash Elite is probably the most rewarding thing in the world for you because it literally gives you everything that you need. Like when you log into the Dash Elite Education Center, so we have a whole vault of all the Dash Elite stuff, stuff that nobody else has, right? We have like a four hour call center training where I literally bring on my call center, I go and show you how to set up literally all of the softwares from A to Z, going through all the scripts, all the integrations, automations, literally a four hour full blown training. It's called call center secrets. That's in Dash Elite. Nobody has access to that, right? There's a whole productivity training, which is like a two hour training on how to make your day the most productive, how to set up your calendar, how to have workflows for yourself, your mindset. Like there's tons of stuff like that Aside from every week, we do accountability calls every Tuesday for about an hour to an hour and a half. Everybody in the Dash Elite Tribe jumps on a call and we talk about the wins, we talk about the failures and how we make, how we optimize and keep moving forward, right? This is what, that's what Dash Elite's all about. So if you're a new agency coming in, that's the best place in the world that you can be, right? Um, let's keep going. Um, Lisa, uh, middle or established agency, key benefits for me. I've done a lot of stuff, have clients. What can I get from having Dash Elite? I may not already know. Doesn't matter if you're a beginner, a middle, or an advanced agency. There's going to be things that we're going to give you in the problem in the in the program. Like just if you think about it, if you use the softwares, if you're using Insights and Insta Reports right now, like that's literally probably half the cost of the the the, the cost of the actual training. Okay, of the actual Dash Elite program, not just the trainings, right? So like there's, it's a no brainer to join Dash Elite, especially if you're already indoctrinated in Dash Clicks. The question is if we want you to end the program, I'll be completely honest with you, because once again, we turn down people every day to join the program. We shut down the program for a couple of weeks at a time to make sure that everybody who's got in is indoctrinated and they're on their feed and everybody's good to go and then we'll open up the program again, right? So those are the things that you wanna focus on. Where do, you meant, where do you recommend to look for great SOPs and workflow process examples and documents? Those are high level things, Giovanni. Those are things that are in Dash Elite. Those are things that we do not sell in courses and stuff like that, like full blown SOPs, work processes, flows, documents. Like we have some stuff in some of our education documents, like proposal templates and stuff like that, but that's really basic stuff. Dash Elite is all of the advanced stuff. It's all the next level stuff. It's all of the analytical thinking. It's all of that. Those types of things. Um, how about hotels in the Greek islands that offer packages for tourists only? Everything is in English for sure. Can I white label services for that? Yeah, you can. As long as the campaigns are in English, we can definitely do that. It doesn't matter what country you're in, right? It doesn't matter what country you're in. As long as our team can understand what they're marketing. Um, Gavin said Dash Elite is fire. Uh, Gavin is actually in Dash Elite. And Gavin is one of the people I told you earlier that closed a 14K contract. 
So Gavin, congratulations. That just shows you what Dash Elite can do for your business. Um, um, would you advise a redesigned bouquet offering that allows the client to choose custom packages based on your discretion or the client size? No, I would create three different offers and give them those three offers, an upsell or downsell. Start with the middle offer. All right, what else we got? I can bring my exact business challenges to you in Dash Elite and get help with my scenario. Yes, 100%. Um, you got to understand, guys, Dash Elite is, is not for newbies only. Okay, it's, it's, There's a wide variety of people in Dash Elite, and that's the beauty of it. The new guys that come in on board, they're coming into a world where there's also new, new guys, but there's also people that are advanced in the space closing $14,000 deals a day. In one day, they close a 14K deal, right? And those people that are coming, like their mind is blown. Like, how the hell do you do this, right? And guess what those other people do? The guy who just closed a 14K deal, he literally goes into the Slack channel, which we have a Slack, private Slack channel with all of Dash Elite, um, and he breaks down step by step exactly what he did, how he did it, and then we jump on the accountability call. He walks through the whole workflow, the process, exactly the scripts that he was using for it. Like, he gives you everything that he just used to close this $14,000 deal, right? And that's the beauty once again, of Dash Elite, okay? So once again, guys, um, I'm, gonna, um, I'm gonna jump off here. Um, if you want, schedule a call with us. If you wanna work directly with me, um, I do not work with everybody. I only work with a handful of people just because I'm one person and I have very limited time. Um, and I can only make myself available to very few people. Uh, if you wanna jump in and work with me directly, join dashelite.com. Uh, you will jump on a call first to schedule a call with my teammates, with our coaches in Dash Elite. Um, if you're a good fit to join the program, they'll make you an offer. Once you get into Dash Elite, you can be one-on-one -on -one with me. You can ask me anything you want. Um, so thank you so much, guys. Hopefully this helped you out. Peace and love. I'll see you guys on the next episode of Marketer's Mindset. Have a good one, guys.